Hello, this is Toph from Trifold Production with another Blender Quickie for Beginners. And in this Quickie, I'm going to show you how you can stabilize shaky footage in Blender fairly easily. And I'm using Blender 2.81. Use whatever version of Blender you want to use. I think it works in every version. But the footage I want to stabilize is this right here. Let me show you what it looks like. Press place is a short that I did for YouTube Shorts for the channel. So it looks kind of shaky, so I wanted to keep it, have it a little bit more stable than what it is. And uh, when you open up Blender, just scroll down at the uh, top and lift click on this plus sign from the drop down menu, you go to VFX and the motion tracking, left click on that. And then click on open. Now you're gonna to navigate to where you've uh, saved your footage. Uh, for me, I'm going to left click, right click, copy, Left click to minimize that window, left click in here, press control V, enter. And that footage is right here, so left click on that and open clip. Now the first thing you want to do with this is you want to set the scene rate, the scene frames, because at this point the default scene or number of frames for the scene is 250 and this is more than that. So go to the track tab here. And click on set scene frame, left click on that. Now you can see that it's expanded it to compensate for all the frames in this scene. Next thing you want to do is click on prefetch. And what that does is it compiles all the video footage into your computer so that you can have easier playback when you want to view it again. And you can have to set the frames per second, which is FPS. Here is 25 for my video. So we're going to go to our output properties, left click on that. And you can see here it's uh, the default FPS is 24. Left click on that, click on 25. And uh, you're set from there. And you want to track, um, when you want to stabilize video in Blender, it's always good to have two tracks and they should be opposite of each other so that Blender can know that, hey, you want to make it as stable as possible. So we're gonna scroll up on our mouse wheel Hold down control and then left click. I'm going to choose these two points, this point here in the box and this point also. Hold down control and left click. Now for me, this is kind of small. So with this still white, that means it's highlighted. Press S on your keyboard and just drag your mouse up or drag your mouse in general to make the uh, selection bigger. Same for this process. Same process on this side. Hold down control, left click on that point, S. To scale and drag your mouse and keep in mind that the bigger you make uh, your tracker the more it can track but the slower it can be but because this is just two tracks it's not really a big deal and I want to track these two points so in order to track these two points make sure that both of them are selected so press A on your keyboard to you select an A again to select both then press ctrl T the track and it's done it was pretty fast let's go back to the beginning of our video let me see let me hover this over so we can have more space to see what's at the bottom come on buddy there we go now you can see um our track is pretty much uh well grouped together no really crazy looking track sticking out anywhere so that's not going to affect uh the track at all so let's go back to the beginning i scroll down on the mouse wheel so we're going to zoom out and see more about video. The next thing you want to do is go to stabilize or stabilization tab. Left click on that and click on 2D stabilization and then click on with these two tracks like the click on the plus sign is going to add those two tracks to our uh, tab here. So left click and add those two. Now you can click on rotation. You should click on rotation actually. Let's left click on that. And drag this out. Um, there's one thing you got to keep in mind with this. You can also uh, click the plus sign here and it'll add these two tracks also to our tab. You can click on scale but the problem that I've seen with that sometimes it gives you some kind of weird looking results where it just blurs the whole thing out. You can't see it at all. So let's just not deal with that. Let's just keep this at that. If you find out that when you, once you've uh, activated your location aspect of it, you click rotation, you've added the tracks, 
you play it forward and nothing happens, you want better results. That's when you can add the second to the uh, second tab to it, a rotation and scale. Plus sign, add those two tracks here also, and click on scale. But right now we're just going to click on scale and leave it as is. If you play it forward, you'll see nothing happens in order to see what's happening, what it has done in terms of stabilization. Go up to clip display, left click on that, and click on show stable. And it'll give you these this uh, this grid, this kind of, uh, I guess you can call it an ant trail grid. Let's play and see what it looks like. Play. And it stabilizes it. See how it's a lot more stable? Let's zoom up a little bit more. And it looks really, really good. It looks a little bit stable. It looks more stable than it was the first time. So let's stop that. You can see that as we play it, we have these uh, these empty pixels on the side. Blender has a fix for that. So let's go back. And you scroll down. Click on Auto Scale. And then it expands the, your footage to actually engulf the whole... Uh, I guess I can call this the window for your, your video. So when we play it now, now it just keeps it all within uh, that window. So it looks better. Let's stop that. Let's go back to the beginning. Now, we want to export this. That's the whole point of stable. That's part of stabilizing it and exporting it. In order to do that, let's go up to our compositor. So click on compositing. Left click on that. If you don't see anything in your window here, just click on use nodes left click on render layers and delete that then press shift a on your keyboard in the search bar this is your search bar up here left click on that and type in movie if you want to add a movie clip left click drag that up then press shift a again and this time type in left click on that and type in stabilize 2d you can just click type in stabilize it'll bring up the rest stable the stabilize 2d left click on that and left click to place it. Now you can uh, put in your movie clip by left clicking there and it's already been added into Blender so Blender knows it's already there so let left click click on this drop down arrow and left click on scene on your movie clip down there and it adds it. And we're going to do the same thing with this left click and add that also and it's there. Leave the settings as they are then left click and drag on the image node, the yellow node yellow to yellow, left click and drag image to image and then that's it and in order to export this because now it's ready to be exported all you have to do is like we did the first time when I showed everyone in the previous clips go to your output settings there uh, left click on this folder here go to wherever you want to save it I'm going to save mine in the video output and type in your name here. Let's call this uh, a stable scene. Stable scene. And then click on accept. And we, I'm going to export it as a video. You can export it as a video or as uh, images, but video for me would be better. It's faster, actually. So left click in there FFMPEG video. Encoding, left click on those three lines, click on H264 and MP4. Left click on the arrow from the drop down menu. Uh, we're going to go to output, medium quality, change that to high quality. Then, once all those settings are done, all you have to do is go to render and then click on render animation and I'm going to click on that, run animation, and it'll start processing it. Now I'm going to pause the video, and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like after it's been uh, processed. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and this is the scene right here. Let's left click on that and see what it looks like. You can see it's a bit more stable than it was the first time. That's what we're looking for. So yeah, that's how you can stabilize video footage in Blender easily. And I hope this tutorial is helpful, you, helpful for you, those of you who have watched it. And thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. Those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.